Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. This is episode number 411. I don't have any birthdays to go over today. It looks like there's only one more left for the month, and that's not until the end of the month. So we'll hold off talking about that one till we get there. The only other thing I'm going to bring up again is to head on over to the Combat Flags podcast and check out episode number 12, where I had the pleasure of sitting down and chatting with Dan on his podcast. Um, I have a link in the show notes for you to go check it out if you have not done so already. I'm very appreciative and thankful for Dan for having me on and uh, looking forward to having more conversations like that with Dan in the future. That's all I have for today, so let's head on into today's episode, number 411. George was born on the 15th of June, 1877, in Ogden, Kansas, where he grew up with seven siblings, three brothers, and four sisters. He was commissioned as a captain in the U.S. Army in August of 1917, and he was deployed to Europe with the 132nd Infantry Regiment, 33rd Infantry Division. It was his actions on the 26th of September, 1918, in France that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Becoming separated from the balance of his company because of fog, Captain Mallon, with nine soldiers, pushed forward and attacked nine active and hostile machine guns, capturing all of them without the loss of a man. Continuing on through the woods, he led his men in attacking a battery of four 155mm howitzers, which were in action, rushing the position and capturing the battery and its crews. In this encounter, Captain Mallon personally attacked one of the enemy with his fists. Later, when the party came upon two more machine guns, this officer sent men to the flanks while he rushed forward directly in the face of the fire and silenced the guns, being the first one of the party to reach the nest. The exceptional gallantry and determination displayed by Captain Mallon resulted in the capture of 100 prisoners, 11 machine guns, four 155mm howitzers, and one anti-aircraft gun. George received the Medal of Honor on the 9th of February, 1919, in a ceremony at Chaumont, France, from General Pershing. He was married to Effie, and they had two sons, Robert, who went on to serve as a paratrooper in World War II, and George. George Henry Mallon died on the 2nd of August, 1934, at the age of 57, and he is buried in the Fort Snelling National Cemetery in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Section DS, Site 1S. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor. And if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.